Sara, uh, thank you very much for the interview. As I can see, you do many, many things in the world of Paddle. No? T tell me about that. So um, I started in Paddle about two years ago, just playing. Um, just It's just a hobby, really. But gradually, um, I just saw some business opportunities. Um, I've got a new clothing range coming with a global fashion designer um, that is coming in September. So looking forward to that. It's going to be like an athleisure so slightly edgy, um, so I'm really looking forward to that one. Um, we do Paddle Aid as well, which is um, been set up with the GB guys, um, just to raise the profile of the sport in the UK, um, try and inspire people to play. Um, it's a very celebrity culture, really, so you've got lots of celebrities coming in doing leadership, um, leaderboard challenges, so that's really fun. But also hopefully inspiring the next generation to come in and try as well, because there's not many children that are playing at the moment. But I think that's really important. So. Because it's a very social sport. It's new, but I think it's a very social, no? So social sport. I think um, the amount of friends I've got involved playing paddle, where we used to sit in the cafe or something, but we now meet on the paddle court. So it's really, really nice. And it, it, I, I really enjoy it. So. If you think that paddle is going to be a very important sport in a few years, Yeah, I think so. I think just the fact that anyone can play it. Um, I think even people that didn't have a sport background are getting in paddle and playing. Uh, I just think it's so important. And people at different levels can play with each other. Uh, I just think it's a fantastic sport like that. Um, yeah. So definitely it's a challenge, no? Uh, for you, like a woman, uh, try to mm, capture, invest for the paddle. I can only talk from my personal experience and I think because it was such a new sport, new opportunity I think I just got in at a nice time, everyone was really welcoming um, I think like we said before I think as long as you've got the right attitude, you've got an idea um, everyone's welcome to new ideas at the moment so um, I think time, obviously money helps <laughs> um, but I mean even seeing here I mean we're massively outnumbered Um, but it, like I said, there's so many women getting involved in the sport in the UK. Um, I myself came through the Femme Open, um, which is a, a women's initiative. I started playing just as a hobby, did all their tournaments, gradually met more and more people. And so many women are doing the same. They've just had a tournament recently and 80% was new, new beginners starting. Do you think uh, for women it's more difficult? Yeah, I, I don't think so. I, I think um, I, I've got a recruitment background um, in the finance and the legal sector. And I always felt that the best person for the job always got the job. And I think I've been inspired by so many women in paddle worldwide already that, like I said, I think as long as you've got a good idea, um, anyone can be involved in it. So it's a, definitely a challenge, but the paddle... Maybe have future in your country. Yeah, definitely, definitely. When, when I look back and see how many, um, you know, domains have been taken with the world paddle in it, how many new companies there are, I just think it's it's just going to grow and grow. It's exciting. More people playing has got to be a good thing, hasn't it? Fitness, mental health. Yeah. And so important also the TV, no? Um, people look on the TV Yeah, I mean, to have, I mean, I'm always looking where I can watch paddle. It's normally YouTube or a few apps at the moment, but it'd be so nice to have the channel from there. I know Hexagon Cup was shown on ITV, um, but yeah, I mean, just have paddle matches on there would be amazing. Thank you very much, Sarah, for the interview. Thank you. Good luck.